holy banana sandwich. Welcome in my Genshin crew. So we're gonna talk about these banners because wowza, 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 they are stacked. They are stacked. These are probably some of the best banners uh, in in a while. I can pull it up on the screen here. That's how long the, uh, yeah, that's how long the last awesome banner was. So let's talk about it. This character banner is stacked. Let's talk about Hu Tao. Hu Tao is a great pyro DPS polearm user. Now, <clears throat> the one caveat that comes with Hu Tao is with her C0, no consolations. She's good, but people think she's a little clunky. She's fallen off a little bit since Arlequino has come in. Arlequino is a lot cleaner and she does outscale Hu Tao for damage. So Arlequino is our top DPS for pyro. Now Hu Tao is still up there, but however, if you can get her C1, that's where she really shines and her gameplay really smooths out. And even still, some people don't really like her gameplay even at C1. So <clears throat> if you're not familiar with it, make sure you go to the character event, right? You test her out in the trials and make sure you you enjoy the gameplay. Now, let me let me switch over. Her damage is really strong, so don't let it don't don't let the bad people fool you here. With her C1, she smooths out. I loved Hu Tao. I've loved her ever since she was revealed, so I got her C0 when she initially came out. 35 wishes on the 50-50 win. Let's go. And then when she came back around, I got her C1. As long as you're looking for a pyro DPS that is a little weird, right? So the lower her health is, the more damage she does to to a certain extent. As long as you like that style of game, I think you're going to really enjoy Hu Tao. Now, these four stars, holy banana sandwich. Okay, well, un unfortunately, look, let's be honest here. Sethos, like I said, four star, electro damage, DPS. He drew the short end of the stick. If he was a support unit, he would probably use way more. You can use him, he's fun, but I'm not gonna get into the to the nitty gritty for his design here just because most people um, don't wanna hear it. Xing Cho, a top tier support for any Genshin player, especially if you can get constellations, okay? His C2 and his C6 are kind of like the top two that people should go for, but get as many constellations for Xing Cho as you can if you want your count to get stronger and if you want an amazing hydro support unit he is top tier he is tied for bennett as probably one of the most useful supports in the entire game and it's not really that difficult to argue that point now kuki an amazing amazing unit c2 is what you want to strive for okay that's like that's the game changer because it extends her e this girl's e crucial i don't even there, there's a better word for crucial but her e is crucial for hyper bloom teams for aggravate teams and you know honestly you could probably do some taser comp teams too however they wouldn't be uh the taser comps do not run off of em right so extremely viable extremely used both xing Cho and kuki show up a ton during exploration show up a ton during abyss gameplay both of these are top tier god tier supports that any genshin account should use trust me don't regret it pull these units if you don't have them even c0 both are great just xing cho becomes a god at c6 kuki her gameplay doesn't change too much but c2 she gets better and then c6 like stops her if she dies yeah, reaches one point will trigger every, yeah. Drops 25%, she'll gain 150 EM for 15 seconds. And the elemental mastery is what causes those hyper, causes the hyper bloom damage. So the higher her EM is, the more those hyper blooms are gonna pop off and the more damage you're gonna do. Hu Tao, a great single DPS, and then her Q can hit a mob, okay? But she's typically really good for single target. Uh, especially for the Spiral Abyss. Now, Nahida, I, just in case you don't know, Nahida is a god tier, the best Dendro unit in the game, without question. Her Q buffs all the other elements, not Cryo. No Cryo love here. And then the E, you mark it, you do, you do Dendro damage, but it just cranks up the damage dealt to whomever is marked with this, and she can fetch goodies. 
with her E. Like, talk about awesome exploration usage. And I didn't even know that at first. Got it. Dunzo. Nahida is a god. She is a top tier Dendra unit. She's only going to get better. Now, they really haven't done much with EM lately, okay? So, but that doesn't mean they're not going to swing around to it. Trust me, if your account does not have Nahida, she is worth it. She is god tier. They are putting her in like every team. There's so many double, like, there's so many S's and double S team ranks with Nahida. She's an insane unit and she's super free to play. Hu Tao, super free to play. Xing Cho, super free to play. Kuki, that, that's when you're going to grind. That's when you're going to grind. Well, okay, so. Kuki and Nahida both need EM pieces. The EM is going to take some grinds, but there are two piece sets that you can use for the EM and EM until you can get her EM all the way up, okay? So, and Kuki, unfortunately, you need the four piece Gilded Dreams in order to really make that work, okay? So, Xing Cho, you got a couple different options depending on how you want to run them. And Hu Tao, now there is a small difference. So, she can run, she can run four piece Crimson. If you want the bigger number on the back end for her Q. And Shimina was reminiscent. Rem, reminiscence. Oof. Th that one's hard to say. That one gives more damage on the front half, typically. So, but it's really close. I think in the grand scheme of things, Crimson Flame might edge it out just a smidge. But at the end of the day, whichever one of those you have better stats with, you should definitely use. Now, this, this weapon banner. This weapon banner is awesome. I know Weapon Banner is a scam, so you have to be careful, but if you've got a ton of Primos and you want to crank the damage of your account, a Staff of Homa or a Thousand Floating Dreams will do that for you. A Thousand Floating Dreams, you can use it on any EM character, not just Nikita, and the Staff of Homa is a busted weapon. You can use it on a ton of different Polearm users, even if they don't scale off of HP for attack. I mean, it is just a bust. No, I don't, I don't need to go here. Uh, it's it's a busted weapon. Uh, I will I will put the the picture of the uh, Nahida's weapon up. So, but this one, as you can see, increases your HP. It's got crit damage. It increases your attack based off of your HP percentage. And if your HP is less than 50, your attack bonus goes up by 0.8 to 1.8. So, like, it's a sick weapon. Now. I would be happy for any account to get either of these weapons because they are awesome. But at the end of the day, you have to be careful. It is the weapon banner. You're gonna win with either weapon. You got a 66% chance on getting a good one because still there's like that other 33% that you're gonna get pooped on and you're gonna get one of those standard five-star weapons, which most are not really that usable anymore. So at the end of the day, most of them are crit sticks. Favonius Warbow here, fantastic weapon. S super high tier, especially with more refinements. Lion's Roar, eh, not really usable unless you, I mean, unless you don't have any other options. Dragon's Bane here, this polearm, super usable for any polearm EM build, especially for vaporized teams. Eye Perception, garbage. This is a, like a weird attack percent Claymore that boosts like plunge damage don't even bother with that nonsense i mean unless you really want to build something wonky so but at the end of the day the weapon banner is a scam so just go in understanding what you want what the odds are and if you get either one of these weapons i would be happy like genuinely i may even wish for the see and and this is where i'm at because i've been playing since the beginning i would love a thousand a thousand floating dreams for my account but getting a third staff of Homa is dumb. So, <laughs> so I think I'll hold. Don't forget, the Pyro Archon is supposed to come out. I don't know, probably like three sets now. I don't know. I, I feel like it's switched around a lot, or maybe I was just wrong. So also keep that in the back of your mind. So we don't know. We don't know the Pyro Archon is going to be a support or going to be a DPS, right? So, but so far, Furina, Hydra Archon, busted. Nahida, Dendra Archon, absolutely busted. Raiden. <laughs> Electro Archon, absolutely busted. Zhongli, absolutely busted. Geo Archon. Venti, kind of like busted, kind of, but like he has such insane grouping that he's like half busted, right? Because Sucrose can group, just not as well as, not as well as Venti. But I feel like on the grand scheme of Archons, Venti's at the bottom. Like, and it's, and it's not even close. <laughs> so, all right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, 
Let me know if you're gonna do some wishing. I'm gonna do some wishing for my daughter's account and we're gonna try to get Hoot Tao. So that's gonna be one of the videos that I pop off. If you want me to do your summons, I'd love to. So you can leave your info down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll check in the next one. Hello, my friends, hello. Sorry, I know that was probably really cheesy, but like I just figured out how to do it. So I'm like really nerdy about it and I do it way too much. All right, anyway.